Hi, this is TJ Romberger. I'm with Wildwood Interactive. We're a full service internet agency. We create websites, shopping carts, applications. We also do um, seminars on social media and we create sales tools and demos. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this cool little trick that my office manager taught me today that might help you manage your email marketing list or any kind of a list that you have that perhaps has a little bit of the data messed up like ours did. We made the decision to move from one um, email marketing system to another and last night I exported a list and it was quite large. This is just a sample of some some dummy data that's not real <clears throat> and obviously it would have other columns like email and stuff but basically when I got in and I was going to import it into the new package I noticed in the first name column that in many cases there was a first and last name both trapped in the first name column and then in, in another big set of cases there was the last name in the second column. So it's going to have my office manager fix that this morning thinking that it was going to be pretty tedious, she'd have to open every one of these and select it out but in fact actually there's a really cool little shortcut that she showed me and I just wanted to share that with you. So I'm using Camtasia to record this. I'm going to post it on my blog and then also upload this to YouTube so other people can see how to do this too. Basically what I want to do is I want to split each one of these into two columns, but I don't want to destroy the ones that already have the last name and the first name correct. So what I need to do is as I start off actually you have your home tab is the active tab. And so what I want to do first as prep is I want to make sure I put these all together sorted so that I have all the empty ones together because otherwise if I split these in two it's it's going to replace the information that's already correct over here. So the very first thing I do is I select this column and I go to data and I choose sort and I want to expand the selection to include everything over here and then I want to sort by the last name and normally um, it doesn't have anything in here so it says column ABC but I've chosen my data has headers so it lets me pick by last name and I say OK and now you see I have all of these together and these are the ones I need to focus on splitting. So on the data tab there's a choice over here called text to columns. <clears throat> what this basically does is allow me to separate the contents of one Excel uh, cell into several columns, separate columns. So I'm going to choose text to columns and if you've ever imported or exported things in Excel, you'll recognize this little window and I'm going to have delimited chosen. I choose next and then by default tab is selected but this particular case what I want to do is change that to space and I don't have a text qualifier so I change this to none and then I'm going to choose next and then I'm going to choose finish and what you see happened is it only took care of these it left these alone and now I have everything split into many columns. Now you will notice I still do have a little bit of a data problem right here but my office manager's job has been reduced significantly and now I have my data all nice and clean for my new email marketing system. If you'd like to be on our emailing list for more tips like this and other cool things on the internet <clears throat> plus seminar dates you can go to wildwoodinteractive.com and sign up for our newsletter. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this. I'm CJ Romberger with Wildwood Interactive. Have a great day.